as you are an eternal living consciousness that incarnates in this physical world through your free will, you make a foundation plan about your upcoming birth in agreement with Source through the appropriate Divine Beings. Today, I will share with you three things you agreed to before you were born. Life is not accidental. All you have to do is to look around you and you can not fail to notice that this world was created based on a divine plan. Only an intelligent mind could have possibly created this perfection in the universe. It is said that first was the word. Everything materializes after it has first been conceived through the energy of thought and then the spoken word infuses more power into it. So, the physical manifestation of our birth and the path we are following was the expression of that we have agreed upon to bring forth. There are three main requirements of this individual divine plan. One is our purpose for this birth. One of the main intents of every soul is to expand, to grow, to be more, to experience more, to become more. In that sense, the soul's journey from the beginning of time is to learn. So, the life purpose becomes the lessons that we choose to learn based on where our soul is at, at that particular moment. There is one major lesson in particular that comes as a powerful imprint in our energy field and affects many aspects of our life. So, the main life purpose is something we agreed upon before taking birth. The second thing that we have also agreed upon before taking birth is our life mission. Based on our unique qualities, talents, skills, wisdom, experience, knowledge we have accumulated through our soul's journey, we decide what our part would be in contributing to the development and expansion not only of our soul but to those living beings around us and the world as a whole. This is also imprinted in our energy field and drives us to accomplish our task of making this world a better place. Our mission is what we have come in this life to give. The third thing we have agreed upon is with whom we are mainly going to be interacting with whilst in this birth and the roles we will be playing with each other. These are our sacred contracts. Watch my video about sacred contracts. I'll provide the link. We agree upon who is going to be our mother and father our extended family, our friends, our partners, our children, etc. With every soul we interact on a deep level, we have big or small karmic connection that needs to be balanced, or these other souls have agreed to help us fulfill our life purpose and life mission. So here are the three things you agreed before you were born, your life purpose, your life mission, and your sacred contracts. Being unaware of them or not being able to fulfill either of them hinders the person from clearly seeing and following its path in a balanced and fulfilling way and can lead to confusion, lack of direction, dissatisfaction, and unhappiness. This information, however, exists within your energy field, your Akashic records, and so can be retrieved if you are still seeking a greater understanding about these aspects of your divine plan. 
an Akashic Records reading, if the reader is experienced in retrieving such information, can help you gain insight, clarity and direction on these aspects. If something like this would be of interest to you and you think it will indeed benefit you to lead a better life, which I believe it will, it would be my honor to assist you find the answers you seek. That's it for now. Till next time, stay empowered.